Hello Physical Fiends, it's Jordan here with your daily announcement. At least it seems that way these days, Gamescom man. I don't know if I love it or hate it. Depends on how the wallet's doing I suppose. So, Streetly Limited Games, one of my least favourite companies on the planet, have finally announced a new game on Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 5. It's been a long time. You can't even order it on their website yet, but you can at Video Games Plus with the links in the description if you want to pre-order and support me. What is the game? It's Iron Meat, and I have to say it's a pretty kick-ass looking game so I can see why they put all their eggs into one basket with this one. But more on that later, first the game. Iron Meat is a run and gun shooter, it's basically Contra on the Super Nintendo. It's been published by Retroware who, on the whole, do a really good job of capturing that nostalgia via modern indie games. Like if you want games that bring NES and Super Nintendo to the modern era without feeling too modern, then these are your guys. So even though I haven't played this one, I've played a bunch of their other published titles and you know what, I've been fairly impressed so I have no doubt this will be good. In fact, I would not be shocked if this turned out to be better than the most recent Contra game. I mean, it looks like more effort's been put into it, that's for sure. So, the German elephant in the room is that this has been published physically by Strictly Limited Games, who, let's just say, despite initially being a strong competitor in the low print market, over the past two years, due to declining sales, interest and questionable business choices, faith in them has diminished. As I said, this is their first pre-order in a long time because they have such a backlog of games that have gone unfulfilled. Some pre-orders went up years ago without being produced yet. It's safe to say that due to low sales, they have been very strapped for cash the past couple of years. It's not looking good for them business-wise, nor for those who have years worth of pre-orders with them. So. Why would you pre-order this one when it's so obvious it's going to go unfulfilled like the dozen or so before it? Well, this is actually one of their speed run releases, as they like to call it. Essentially, a game they printed in advance and they will have it in hand, ready to go on release day alongside the digital release which is in September. So yeah, they say this will be ready to ship next month. And yet, they literally have more than a dozen games that have had pre-orders for years that they haven't printed yet. So why? What about all the people waiting years for those pre-orders? Well, like I said, I think we all know they are strapped for cash and printing games they've only sold like 20% of the print run for won't do anything good for their finances. So they are putting all their eggs into one basket by doing this latest game printed in advance in the hope that people will jump on board knowing they won't have to wait. If they sell all the units, perhaps it will you know, save the company or put them on the right track. I personally feel like this might be their last chance to you know, get their company together. It's a good game, it's printed almost in hand, ready for shipping in September. If something can save them, it is this. I mean, having it in hand instantly makes me like 100% more likely to pick it up. There will only be 4,000 copies of this game made for Nintendo Switch and 2,500 copies for the PlayStation 5. They are both the European version. Strictly Limited only produce European copies. Pre-orders, as I've said, are not open on Strictly Limited's website as of yet. I believe they are waiting until September when they have them fully in hand, so there's no doubt amongst customers. They can't afford to have people worried, right? They really need this to work. However, Video Games Plus, with the links in the description and the pinned comment, have open pre-orders right now. Yeah, they're throwing a bone to Strictly Limited Games. They're doing it now probably because they would need advanced shipping in order to get them out at the same time. So, if you want to pre-order, you can do so via Video Games Plus, and you can support me at the same time as well, that's nice. Plus, of course, even better, is that you can get free worldwide shipping with VGP if you purchase something over 80 Canadian dollars, which is about 60 American bucks. However, it is worth noting, Strictly Limited Games currently do have a free shipping code during Gamescom, which is GC2024. However, since Iron Meat won't be available between now and the end of that code, it's not much use unless you fancy purchasing something different, but that's another topic for another video. 
So yeah, will you be supporting Strictly Limited Games with Iron Meat? Hopefully this can get them back on track, get those backlog of games out, continue with this speedrun technique, and I really think they could turn it around. Let me know your thoughts, will you trust them one last time? If you purchased via the links in the description, I greatly appreciate your support, and you are forever awesome in my heart. It really does help me out a lot, and I hope you all have a fantastic day, guys. Take care.